Thank you. My name is uh, Bilo Isaac Hassan. I come from Mandela and uh, Mandela Washington Fellow 2015 Public Management Track. Mm -hmm. And my question basically is uh, about uh, we know and we appreciate the effort US government is making in terms of uh, countering violent extremism. But uh, on the same note is, uh, yes, we are receiving as a country funding from the US uh, that is funding the security agencies who are handling the issues of uh, extremism. My question is, we have had uh, the allegation that uh, Kenyan security agencies are involved in enforced disappearances, they are involved in extrajudicial killings. These are some of uh, political grievances uh, the extreme groups are using to recruit people. What is the take uh, of the State Department about that concern? And oh. secondly, yeah. just a short one, is that uh, in 2009, uh, in uh, North Africa, President Obama promised the Arab world that uh, before the end of his term, he will uh, close down Guantanamo Bay. And up to date, that has not been done. When are we expecting that as well? Well, his term's not over yet. Um, thank you for your questions. Uh, on the extrajudicial killings, um, I talked about that with President Kenyatta this morning, and we had a very good and very frank and very constructive conversation about it. He is opposed, and he has issued instructions and orders to his top people uh, that this is not something that should occur. Uh, but he also pointed out, as others have to me, that some of the disappearances, and I'm not excusing anything here, that if anybody is killed, that's one too many, two too many, whatever. But some of the disappearances are people who are going to fight across the border in Somalia or somewhere, and they get killed and they don't come back, and quote, they've disappeared. It's a good organizing tool to be able to argue, uh, you know, that Everybody who has disappeared has somehow uh, been eliminated in, 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 a, in an unacceptable way. But clearly some people have been. We know that. And it's wrong. It's just wrong. And what we need to do, and we have committed to do, is work with the government to help do a number of things, to work with the intelligence community, to work with the police community, to make sure that procedures and mechanisms are in place that will guarantee uh, a due process and a, and a legal process that is instituted so that a detainee is not subject to uh, being murdered, but is going to be put into that process and held accountable for whatever it is they may or may not be doing. Now, it takes time to build that. It's not going to happen overnight. But we agreed to have a task force come together, work on it, do a forum, uh, you know, to try to talk about it. And, and he has agreed also to have our folks work with the Inspector General of Police and with your intelligence chief and try to work at this. And we are committed to doing that. President Obama is deeply concerned about it, as am I, and I think anybody of conscience, uh, that it is critical that there be a legal due process put in place and human rights be protected. So that's very straightforward. On the Guantanamo, the president is absolutely committed to try to close it. We have brought the number of prisoners that were there down from about 120. We're getting down towards 50. We, and the 50 toughest ones to be able to move out. We've asked, uh, many nations have been very helpful by taking one or two or three or five people or more. And, and we have the last group that gets us down to 50 is now approved for transfer, and we're working on their transfer. In the end, we are going to have to make a hard decision about what we're going to do with those 50 or so people who are still there. And it is inappropriate in our judgment for them to be held interminably without trial, or without any basis, but if there is evidence of uh, they're having been engaged deeply in terrorism, then obviously we have to figure out how we're going to manage it, but it shouldn't be in the facility at Guantanamo. It has to be in a, some other kind of structure or modality, and we're still working on it very, very intently. Okay?